What's up rock stars? Welcome back to my channel and today is day two of the fitness journey vlog. It is early afternoon, just about one o'clock and I've been busy all morning editing. So all the video footage that I saw, shot yesterday of my summer goals and my workout video took me a few hours to edit and get up on the YouTubes. So right now my fitness journey day one video is up. It basically describes all my fitness goals for this whole journey to come. And then currently uploading right now is my day one workout video. So I haven't worked out again yet today for day two, but I definitely plan on it. Um, on It's Sunday, so I always play softball on Sunday, so that's gonna be part of my workout. But my softball game is not till late. It's not till 8.30 tonight. So I definitely want to try to get in something else today. But I do have a couple options. Um, my friend Tori and some of her folks are um, down in Venice Beach right now. So I could go to the beach. And I was thinking maybe about busting out the rollerblades. Or... The only thing that would stop me from doing all that is the drive down to Venice Beach. It's going to take me like an hour to get down there. Um, and my girl Tori's already down there. So, um, I don't know. My other plan is just to run a few more errands. And then maybe do a bit of um, home workout here. Either in my gym or in my apartment. But maybe something a little bit at least before my softball game tonight. But so far, the way I feel is good. I feel really good from yesterday's workout. I am a little bit sore in my quadriceps from all those squats and lunges. And my arms, just like here a little bit is, um, when I stretch out like this, is a little bit sore from some of those free weight exercises that I did yesterday. But overall, I'm feeling good. And I'm looking forward to, to, to today. I've been drinking lots and lots of water this morning. Had a healthy, healthy breakfast. And the day has been going good. Day two, going well. Hey guys, so I decided it's a no for the beach today. It's just gonna take me way too long to get down there and I really do have some errands that I need to run. Especially the one big one is I need to go to the grocery store. So one problem I feel like I had yesterday was that I just didn't have enough like healthy snacks to eat and I also just didn't have enough just food in general for cooking and and just to start this fitness journey, I need to have lots of healthy things because along with the fitness, eating right is going to be a huge part of this. So I'm about to hit up the grocery store and stock up on some, some healthy stuff. Okay, you guys, I'm outside of the grocery store. If you can see, I'm outside of Ralph's. Good old Ralph's, here we are. Now, here comes the true test. Do I have the guts to vlog inside the grocery store? Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna vlog a little bit. Uh, I want you to know though that uh, while I'm in there, what I try to do, especially when I am focusing on healthy choices, is I like to shop in the the outside perimeter of the of the grocery store so staying in the produce aisles staying out of a lot of the processed foods all those middle aisles I'll be trying to stay out of trying I'm sure there's a few things I'll need to get in there but for the most part I'm gonna be buying lots of fruits and vegetables and just a few little snacky things that I can have around the house so this is really where you want to stay you want to stay in the produce aisle Get all of your veggies and your fruit. Splurge a little. Go organic. Live a little. Alright, so one of my favorite sections is here. And one thing I want to grab is a spaghetti squash. Because I feel like these are great substitutes if you're going to make a pasta. Uh, to use a spaghetti squash instead. So I'm going to go ahead and grab me one of these. Because this will make me a nice uh, couple of meals. I'm gonna grab some avocado oil because I feel like this is healthier than olive oil. Correct me if I'm wrong, but for cooking in the frying pan, in the oven, um, to avoid use of butter and olive oil, I'm gonna grab me some avocado oil. When it comes to bars, Lara bars are my favorite because you know exactly what's in them. 
their main base is usually dates and you'll get some nuts and fruits but really what you get is what you see so I'm gonna pick up a few of these these are definitely my favorite as far as a quick thing to grab on the go is a Lara bar okay. this is the aisle that intimidates me the most the chip aisle so I'm looking for like one thing maybe on the cracker side that I can get to munch on and not feel so guilty so we'll see what we can find okay I found some new Triscuits they're avocado cilantro lime and I know they're probably not great for you but I feel like in moderation you know they're not too bad so I want to just get something that I can crunch on that um, won't make me feel like I'm completely missing out but also is not completely indulgent in the chips if you know what I mean I'm pretty sore you guys like especially my legs from all of the squats and lunges I did yesterday so I'm definitely gonna take some time to do a quick stretch oh my god oh my leg is so sore you guys Whew. so sore I got my veggies my oven is already been preheating to 425 and I'm gonna put my tray of veggies in for about 15 minutes then I'm going to stir them up a bit toss them around and then about another 10 15 minutes till they're all roasted and delicious this is after 15 minutes at 425 so I'm just gonna give this 
a bit of a stir and put it in for about another, I would say 10 minutes. It smells amazing in here, you guys. So this is basically what I'm gonna eat for dinner and I might have a little fruit for dessert. But another thing that I should tell you guys before we get real into this fitness and food thing is that I don't really eat a lot of meat. Um, I don't eat any red meat, I rarely eat chicken, and occasionally I eat seafood. So I'm basically like a flexitarian. I don't wanna sit here and preach to you guys about meat and whatever. I choose not to eat, eat red meat and mostly I eat vegetarian. So that's what you're gonna see a lot of on here um, on this channel is vegetarian, not vegan. I do like cheese and I do eat some dairy. Um, but I mostly eat vegetarian and I would say some seafood. So if you wanna really put a name on it, pescatarian, but occasionally I eat chicken, so that's just how I am. You do you. I'm just showing you what I'm eating here and there. Not every meal, just some of the, the things that I enjoy cooking. That was some garlic rosemary roasted veggies. Definitely, I could eat that any day. So delicious. I'm going to get off this camera right now and go eat it. And I can't wait. <laughs> this is a great meal before my softball game. It's going to be nice and healthy and not weigh me down too much. We're recording right now. All right, we're here at the softball field. This is the last game of the season. That's right. Go cheers. cheers. Go cheers. We're a pretty good team, Generic. actually. Generic name. Cheers. I know. Cheers, for real. Straight out of, out of the TV shows. Um, so, yeah, we're here in Agora Hills. We're about to play some softball. So, this is... Oh, we're in, we're in Thousand Oaks. Yeah, I don't even know where I am. But this is basically, like, my fitness for the day. So, I'm about to get my workout in. And... <laughs> to win this game yes yeah, cheers <laughs> let's go cheers come, come on lisa lady. come on lisa oh no you can't go get three catch get three there was nobody at third oh so, oh, we were out yelling home. Oh, I'm sorry, you didn't hear us from here. No. Who's the third now? Uh, Fox Jason. Uh, yeah, sorry. Where's Roger third? No, he, I turned around and he was halfway and I. Five runs! Thank you. Go to her, go to her, go to her! Yeah, Tori! Yeah. Good yeah. All right, you guys, so day two is pretty much wrapping up. You saw a little bit of the softball game. I wish I would have gotten a better hit for you guys to see. I had a couple good ones and a couple good catches, but the only one my friend got on, on video was my crappy little hit, uh, which got me out. But uh, we didn't win the game, unfortunately. It was a loss for us tonight, but it was a good game. It was back and forth between the two teams. Um, for quite a bit and it was definitely good exercise. I was dripping sweat because it was hot tonight and I played outfield and second base so every time I went out to the outfield I was sprinting and running out there uh, and just making sure that I was really giving it my all tonight. So I feel good about the fact that my main workout tonight was my softball game because at first I was saying that I wanted to do something earlier in the day but I'm not gonna lie you guys my legs are so sore they're that type of sore like right in my quads it's just my quads right in my upper thighs it just is so painful it hurts to walk it hurts to move um, I'm lucky that it's really only there that's sore but just from the hard workout I had yesterday and just the simple fact that I haven't been really working out like that in a, in a while you know, I was bound to be sore. So I was kind of sore today, so it felt really good to to have, this, you know, the game tonight. Take my mind off of that soreness and loosen, loosen me up when I was running, and I felt great, and now I'm back to being sore. So I'm going to do a good stretch, a stretch tonight and drink some water and take a shower and call it a night 
because it has been a long exhausting day even though i really feel like all i did all day was edit and film and go to the grocery store i feel like i did do uh, a lot of things for this fitness journey so i hope you're enjoying the video so far and if you haven't seen day one check out my video i'm going to put the link down below and i also want to ask today's question and today's question is what is your favorite sport to play that is a great way to fit in fitness or exercise in a fun way for me definitely softball is one of my favorite sports i also love to swim i swam competitively for years and years and years when i was younger and i used to play soccer but for right now as an adult my favorite sport to play is softball and it actually is a pretty good workout. So that is my favorite, and I wanna know what your favorite sport to play is, especially one that gets you up and moving. All right, you guys, so that is it for today, day two of my fitness journey. And if you have not become an official rock star yet, click that subscribe button and you can become an official rock star. I hope you guys have a great day or evening. Right now it's 10 o'clock at night, but whatever it is for you, I hope you have a great day. Take care of yourself and love yourself. Bye, guys.